Hey there, everybody. Okay, uh, it's been a while. It is May 1st, 2024. Lots of crazy stuff going on in the world, as I'm sure you are aware. I am standing in my newly constructed greenhouse. Um, I figured this might be some information, maybe a little too late for some for this year, but for next season, I built this uh, using this pipe bender I got online. I don't know if you can see it. There we go. Um, there's a couple different places to get them. I got a pipe bender and I, uh, I got the top rail from a chain link fence at Home Depot. And that's this stuff. It's, uh, I think it's inch, uh, inch, inch and a quarter, something like that, uh, tubing. And it, um, it nests if you can see this here, it's got the um, the flanges, you know, the uh, the bell end and then the uh, the smaller end, so it'll slide into one another. And that's the top rail for a chain link fence. They sell it at Home Depot. <clears throat> so I did this whole greenhouse. This is a uh, 16 foot wide by 24 foot long greenhouse, and the uh, the pipe bender uh, comes in certain configurations for how big of a diameter you want the hoop to be, right? So this one will do a 16 foot uh, total hoop, right? So eight foot high, right? Half of 16 feet um, all the way around circle. So we're doing half circle because we're doing a greenhouse. You can make it as long as you want. Um, so I made mine 24 feet. This, there we go. This is my first garden bed. And uh, I did it with uh, two by eight, um, two by eight by eight treated wood lined it with plastic because there's still some information out there that the treatment of the, the wood itself, you don't want that leaching into your garden, um, picking up the chemicals or the whatever they treat it with, right? And back in the day, they used to use arsenic was part of it. Um, now they've uh, since done away with that, but I'm sure there's some nasties in there you don't want in your veggies that are going in your body. Anyways, there it is. Uh, the plastic is reinforced um, nylon reinforced uh, plastic sheeting and uh, that's what I had on hand from building my tiny house a couple years ago I had a roll of it I never used because I wound up spray foaming the inside of it instead of using batten or um, uh, fiberglass insulation so this was going to be the vapor barrier where are we at there we go vapor barrier for the uh, tiny house but uh, spray foamed it didn't need it still had this in a roll I'm using it right now so just a, a quick May 1st there we go uh, there's a cooler right there, an old cooler, uh, no lid that broke off and the drain still works. So I filled it full of dirt. It's going to be a planter. This planter here, two by eight by eight. And this is a 16 foot long by four foot wide garden bed. I got more on the way. I got to build some more. I got my, my saw and all the other stuff in here, but May 1st in Alaska on the Kenai Peninsula. Um, trying to bust this out. I'm a little bit early. I found out this is my first greenhouse here. I've done some other stuff, but the local gardeners and, and the people growing up here have said that, yeah, come back in a week, you know, make sure you get your starts in. I let the, the beds uh, warm up and uh, you can get your, your starter plants from the garden center or should have started my own a couple of weeks ago. Um, some I'll start now, some I'll get from like a, a local garden area that sells them. So like tomatoes and peppers and stuff like that that are pretty mature but uh yeah for right now um this is what i got so may 1st 2024 um grow food it's uh getting crazy out there the lake is still frozen i don't even see that <laughs> still frozen got some puddles on the top of it it's swiss cheese you can't walk across it um but yeah i built this whole thing myself uh, treated wood and some of that uh, inch inch and a quarter top rail for chain link fence at Home Depot so far total cost just in the greenhouse not with the dirt in the planter beds I think I'm sitting about like two thousand twenty four hundred bucks give or take I didn't save all the receipts but that's about it um, pounded some posts in the ground some old pieces of pipe to use for anchors like this like that guy there Pretty simple. And then some of the end walls are uh, Sun Tough panels from Home Depot as well. Go with the Sun Tough, spend a couple extra bucks, you know, buy once, cry once kind of thing. 
That's about it. All right, signing off. Good luck to y'all.